So, uh, this is my second attempt at wood carving. I finished the bear a couple days ago, and um, like I said, I think I found a new hobby. Um, I, although, I learned a few things. Well, one thing is um, I was doing it in the shade, and I decided to move the um, my little station over here in the sunshine because I think the lighting will be better. And then um, we'll see how it goes because I have four beehives just like eight yards that direction. And so I'm not sure if they're gonna like the I, the chainsaw here, right, um, make it a lot of racket right in front of their hives. But usually they're pretty docile. So we'll see how that goes. And then another thing is um, last video, um, I just free-handed, I just kind of winged winged it when I was doing that bear. I had no idea what I was doing. So this time, I think um, I'm going to make a snowman. And um, I did this little drawing, which I hope will give me a little bit of a more reference, uh, better reference point on what I'm doing. Because like I said, the first one, I just totally winged it. Like, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, so... I think that will help. Um, another thing I wanted to mention that I didn't quite get on video last time is um, with these chaps, I learned not to hold the saw against your thigh because it totally burned a hole in it, um, which I'm very grateful that it wasn't a hole in my thigh, but um, I just got a little carried away with um, being creative and not really paying attention to what I was doing. and. Um, well, I mean, I was paying attention to the blade, but um, yeah, that engine gets hot. So, here we are, second video. Learned a lot, and I'm still using the same little chainsaw. Um, it's the tiny little one with the 14 inch bar, the tonic, the, what is it? Tonica. And I got it off of Amazon for like, I don't know, 200 bucks, 150, 200 bucks. Um, so, it's a good starting tool. So, we'll see how this little snowman turns out. Okay, I uh, ran out of gas, so um, and I'm covered in sawdust, and I'm gonna go refill that tank real quick. Okay, I think that I'm going to stop with the saw for now. Um, I think that's as good as it's going to get right now. I'm going to fine tune some stuff, but um, other than that, I think I've got the main part of it pretty much carved out. I'm pretty pleased with the little snowman so far. This is going a lot faster than the last one. Oops. Caught it. Okay. It's kind of windy today. Anyway, um, sawdust everywhere. But this is going a lot faster than the last one um, because, well, one, um, I planned it out. <laughs> um, I planned that um, the little drawing out, and it seems to have helped. So. That's what I started with, and then I improvised. I didn't give him two um, snowballs. Instead, I just gave him a head and a body um, because there wasn't as much space as I had thought. Um, so, yeah. And then I also feel way more comfortable with the saw right now, so that's pretty good too. And I will be right back. Time to start painting it.
Okay, so I just finished the little snowman. Here she is. He, she, whatever. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. She needs to dry off a little bit before I can um, finish brushing her off. But um, yeah, there she is. I, I'm debating whether I could add a little tooth here. Um, she isn't as parallel, but I kind of like it. So the reason why I decided to do a snowman is because um, the other day I was at the store and I saw this plastic um, little snowman figurine that was probably about this high and it was plastic and they made it look like wood and they were selling it for $25 and I kept thinking what the heck like that's awful. And you know, how many hundreds of people have this $25 little figurine, figurine that came from a mold? And so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make one for myself. So here's a little snowman. I'm pretty pleased with her. Um, I think maybe next time I'm gonna need a little bit of a bigger or a taller log so that I can um, do the three balls. But um, yeah, so far so good. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else that I've learned today other than the fact that um, I enjoyed carving in the sunshine a lot more and my bees did not bother me one bit. A, cute, a couple of the bees came over and investigated while I was um, working, but they didn't do anything aggressive, so I'm thankful for that. Anyway, so um, if you want to find more information, feel free to find me on Facebook. It's Marisa's Galleries. Um, I'm also on Instagram. I believe it's My Life is Mar. And, um, yeah, so yeah, Marisa's Galleries, Marisa's spelled like that, and I'll put a link over something. Anyway, thanks for watching. Also, one more thing. If you want to order one of these cute little snowmen, just let me know. Um, I can do a custom order where I can make the cap and the scarf, whatever color you like. It's only October and I'm going to be doing them for the Sugar Plum, which is a local event near Eugene, Oregon. So I'm happy to do it and I'll be selling these little guys at that event.